Hey guys, welcome to Backwoods Bass. Today we're gonna have a little uh, rod and reel combo. This is of uh, all of our rods. Um, we're, we're just gonna have, uh, this is gonna be our first upload, so hope you guys like it. So here's my rod in reel combo. I have a Shimano Carano 7 bearing system with the uh, Mega Tournament Bass Pro Shop reel. And I have a soft body frog uh, tied onto it right now. And here we're gonna show my friend Grayson. This is Grayson Waterman with Backwoods Bass. Uh, this is my setup. I got a all-star rod with a uh, all-star light worm rod, seven foot medium with a fast tip, and my Pinnacle Plus uh, six to one gear ratio with twelve pound monofilament that is subject to change to fluorocarbon. First of all, I'm with Backwoods Bass. I'm gonna be showing all the setup I have. I have a six point three gear ratio Shimano Corrado that I use mostly for saltwater fishing, but I do enjoy bass fishing, and this is my favorite song. And okay, I'm gonna keep going. This is a Diablo seven foot pole. It's a medium too. I use this also for saltwater fishing because this is a giant pole and I don't like it for bass fishing. But be sure to keep watching our videos and like and subscribe. And now we're gonna go on to our tackle por portion of the video. We're gonna have mostly our top waters and our jigs today. Create some water backwards bass, and this is some of my tackle top water and jigs. We went on a fishing expedition. The three of us are with our friend Zach. Who had we only brought jigs and top water for this lake, but worked out pretty well. I caught a four pounder. This is my, these are my jigs. I have, to be honest, I don't know any of the brands with these except for like Strike King, but I just know the colors. This is Craw, I know that for sure. <laughs> I think I just bought this because it was on sale at Bass Pro Shop. I don't think I've ever tied it on. I don't know the name of that. This one I have used once and it caught a eight pounder, which is my new favorite record. And I used this at Conroe, just topped it up on along the, uh, the rocks. I don't exactly know the color, I just matched it to the water color and that worked out pretty well. Good tip, always match your bait to the water color. This is something, I don't know, it's, one second. Never tied this on, also on sale at Bass Pro Shop. That's kind of sad, but it was it was on sale for a dollar ninety nine. Why wouldn't you buy that? This right here, bluegill, black football jig. I don't know why I bought this. I've used it twice, but the head is just the head is like three quarters or not even three quarters of an ounce. And that's too heavy for I'm fishing. Mistake from a beginner. Uh, don't exactly know the brand of this, but this is the first jig I ever bought. It was at Walmart. <laughs> it was for a dollar fifty, and this thing has caught me more bass. Like this is the, the jig that's caught me the most bass out of anything, and this is craw. Can be I don't really know. It can be anything. Uh, this is my bitsy bug bleeding jig. Got this at I think it was Academy for like a dollar fifty on the sale bin. And I, this thing's caught me a lot of fish in the spawn because it's just a bright white. And, uh. These are some jigs that I just honestly just found in the road. Like I, at the lake I was fishing at actually on the way there. Like like on the way to drop the boat off I found these, picked them up. I haven't used them yet because I just got them about a week ago. <laughs> this jig right here I bought from my friend Braden a couple days ago. It's a good bluegill imitator but skirt kind of falls off a little bit. I don't know the exact name brand. I'll put it in the description. But I caught three or four bass on this today. This is a good one. And I have my assorted trailers, just the good zoom chunk trailers and just all those. And I have some Strike King, just don't exactly know the name of these, but I know they work good as trailers. You should pick you up some of these, the ones that smell like coffee. <laughs> That's it for my jigs right now. Hi, my name is Grayson Waterman with Backwoods Bass. Uh, this is my top water box, which you just saw my jig box, or actually top bait and spinner. This is this... H2O Express torpedo bait that I got about two weeks ago from one of my friends. It's a chrome with a black back. It works pretty well. I've only used it twice though, which is kind of sad. This is my live target white with uh, black back mouse that I got from a friend for a birthday present. I've only used it probably three times and I've caught about four or five bass on it in one night. It did lure. This is some 1980s frog my uh, grandpa gave me and it works. Caught me one of my biggest fish on lures to date. And uh, I, don't know. I have these miscellaneous hula or 
uh, top water poppers that I'm not really going to go into depth with because I have there's some little ones that come in a cheesy little pack. But this is my hula popper. I haven't used it yet. I probably got, I think I got it on Christmas. Yeah, Christmas for my parents in a set. Haven't used it because I'm not a really big hula popper fisherman. And uh, I got and this also came in that pack. It's black jitterbug. It's a pretty good looking bait. Never used a jitterbug. I'm really hoping to use that. This is an H2O Express albino frog. I haven't used it yet because I don't really know that many places when you want to use an albino frog, but I'll use it when it comes down to it. This is a jitterbug. Also came in that pack. It was there was a pack of three. It was a a bullfrog with a white belly jitterbug. Don't know how to fish them. So if y'all know how to fish them, please tell me down in the description or the comments below. Uh, this is my other torpedo bait. Oh, dang, hook me. It's this head and I don't like fishing because it's too light and it kind of messes me up and gives me backlash. But that's that. And this H2O Express topwater popper in ghost shad color. This works. Uh, it worked so much it broke the back treble hook to where it only has two. It's crazy. But now I'm going to get into my spinner baits. This is some black and blue one that I've never used before because it just it doesn't look like it's going to work anywhere. That's a no. And this is one of my many chartreuse colored spinner baits because I believe that's the best color because you really can't go wrong with chartreuse. One that lost a skirt in today's fishing expedition made me really mad. Uh, this big old toad took it in its mouth and I it let it go because it shook the line and it took the skirt with it. And I don't know where it is now. This is some chartreuse with white shad with a silver or nickel Colorado and willow leaf blade. I don't really use this very much because it's not, I don't like white very much. I'm a white, average white spinnerbait. Don't really use it. This thing, I don't even know. I got it from my grandpa. He said it'll work. I don't really believe him because look at it. No. And this is my H2O Express. Sh uh, chartreuse shad with a weird spinnerbait head. This thing has caught me dozens of fish on Lake Conroe. One of my best fish this fish. One of my other many chartreuse spinnerbaits. It's your basic one. And my small white spinnerbait just for situations like that. And I have all these miscellaneous buzz baits with no skirts. That kind of, I don't know. I just have many of them. And this is my only buzz bait with a skirt, and I don't really fish buzz baits very much, as you can tell by the skirtless ones. But that's my top water tackle from the spinners and buzz baits. Thanks for watching. From Backwoods Bass, um, you probably just saw my setup video. I'm gonna carry on my lures. This is my. Uh, I'm gonna start off with my spinner baits. This is my spinner, and I'm not sure what brand this is, but this will be good in dirty water, and I've caught more crappie on this one. This is a neon color and whatnot. This is another. White spinner that I've caught in the crappie on in dirty water, and I just really like the color and the size of it. These two, would, I know these two for a fact would work really good in clear water, but I have not cast it out with these because I just got these for Christmas and I haven't done much big crappie fishing lately. So this one and this one right here, they work really good in, for crappie fishing, I think. Um, these things right here, I've never caught anything on, but I hardly fish for these, but I know you wouldn't catch much on these little crappy crawl, crawfish things. So I don't, I don't suggest getting these if you're going to get some. Um, this rattle trap I have, I've caught mini bass on like just big lakes in my neighborhood and whatever. I've just, I really like the color of it and it's how it shines. This crop is a um, crankbait. I've caught I caught an alligator gar once on this one, H2 Express. It's really good, but I haven't used it yet because I haven't got around to getting any treble on it because the alligator gar I caught on it ripped like half the trebles off. This crankbait is I'm not sure, but I know if this is catches a lot of bass because I've caught a lot of bass on it. Um, yeah, scatter wrap. I suggest this. I remember 
a bass tournament I did when I was in seventh grade. I caught, I won a fish, oh, the winning catch on this crankbait, this giant crankbait. It was a probably a six or seven pound bass that I caught on this one. Um, yeah, so get this, it's gonna freaking amazing. So. Another rattle trap frog, really good in lily pads and wherever you catch, wherever many bullfrogs are, suggest this. Freaking amazing, but if you got lily pads, it's probably gonna hook on to hook on to weeds and the weeds. This song is really annoying. Alright, this so is my bomber crankbait. Um, I like this a lot just because it's just, I like it a lot. I caught a bunch of bass on this one before. Um, yeah, I suggest this one. This is also bomber too. So get these, these are good. Alright. So now to my top orders. I got these two for Christmas, these um laser eye lures. These look like they work really well in just flat water. Got these jitterbug torpedo things. These things are I know I've caught many bass on these just in the morning, early mornings. I suggest this. So any top water is really good early in the mornings. Bigger top water torpedo looking lure thing. I suggest this early morning. Wake up really early drop there. H2 Express top water. I don't think I've ever used this one before. Yeah, I haven't used this one before, but it looks like a catch bunch of mess. I got a lot of new top waters for Christmas, so I haven't really used much. This one I'm, I've used once. I don't think I caught anything on it, but probably didn't try hard enough. But yeah, this looks good. This looks good. H2 Express. All the top waters I have are H2 Express. Most of them. H2 Express. I caught many bass on this one. This one is my dad's favorite. The, uh, the Bone. Suggest this one a lot. I haven't caught anything on it myself, but I'm not really fishing with my dad. Hit some hard with these things. Uh, this is a Bass Pro Broken Back. I caught on, that got on sale. But not that much. I don't remember, but I know. It got on sale and I know it works. Um, I got these spoons that my dad catches freshwater trout on. I haven't been freshwater trout fishing, but it looks like they work. Spoons. Top waters. All right, so this is a something that I got on sale at Bass Pro for very cheaper than its original price. My friend have caught we caught bass on this this lure specifically. It looks good, looks like it worked, but probably haven't catch that many small bass on this one. Same with this one. Only problem I can say with this though is just one treble and you'll probably get them on the back of the on the tail. So yeah, I got a bunch of jig heads in here. Solid body tubes. This I, I like using these in the spawn because the the lizard the lizard eat the fish's eggs and the bass's eggs and whatnot. So use lizards in spawn. That's what I More lizards. This is a worm. It's very crappy, but probably would work. In here, I just got a bunch of tubes and miscellaneous. These two. Caught many bass on these in the little circle pond thing that we have. Spawn. So that's about it. Just a bunch of soft tubes, crickets, a soft plastic baits. Live. Yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. For watching the video, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll make more videos for y'all weekly.